right, welcome to episode 40 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Uh, this is Nick. This is Brandon. This is Brad. And we're going to be playing a game show today. It's a game show designed and uh, hosted by myself, Nick. Uh, it's a movie trivia game show. So all the questions are going to have to do with um, movies. There are two separate games that we're going to be playing. The first one is a game that I heard on the Adam Carolla podcast. It's called the Totally Topical TiVo Trivia. And the second one is uh, another game that I heard on a different podcast. It's called Doug Loves Movies. And the name of the game is the Leonard Malton game. So we'll start off with the Totally Topical TiVo Trivia game. I'll just explain the, the, the directions really quick. Uh, very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off um, a TiVo, you know, we all know what TiVo is, a DVR uh, description of a movie. I'm going to read it off slowly because you're going to buzz in. This is how you're going to be the first, first one to get the points. So if you buzz in, you get the answer wrong, you don't get any other chances. The other person just gets to buzz in if, if they get the, there's, there's no, you're not going to lose points. You can only gain points. Uh, pretty simple structure. Is there any questions? Nope. Nope. All right. So as I said, buzz in whenever you can. We're going to use your true names. So Torment is Brad. Crisis is Brandon. And let's uh, go ahead and get started. So number one, an inept dog groomer and a limousine driver. Crisis, Dumb and Dumber. From 1994, that is correct. Oh, groomer. I thought he said rumor. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to uh, get some Q-tips, then maybe it will help you out in the next questions. For what? Because you heard incorrectly? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Number two. When a woman brings her boyfriend home for her sister's wedding, her father, a former CIA Crisis. agent... Crisis! Meet the parents. That's correct. From 2000. Number three. A boy's birthday wish. Torment. Liar, liar. Wow. <laughs> That's how the game's played. From 1997. Number four. An undercover Los Angeles reporter investigates a businessman who wants him to kill him. I, I didn't know this one. Crisis. LA Confidential? It's not correct. Three, two. I'm not going to guess. It's Fletch from 1985. Yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know it either. Uh, number five. A recently engaged newswoman becomes obsessed with meeting a grieving widow widower she heard on a late night radio call-in show. Tor Torment. Sleepless in Seattle. That's correct, from 1993. Number six. Rock and roll outlaw Jerry Lee Lewis. Torment. Yes. Great Balls of Fire. Correct, from 1989. So far, it's Torment 3, Crisis 2. Number 6, or that doesn't matter quite at all. Oh, because one of them, we didn't get an answer on this one. So, uh, number 7. A Virginia high school hires a black football coach. Crisis, Remember the Titans. From 2000, that's correct. Number, you always get the black one. <laughs> <laughs> number 8. Parapsychologists. With nuclear guns. Torment. Ghostbusters. That's correct. From 1984. Number nine. A high school baseball coach makes it to the major leagues as a middle-aged relief pitcher. Crisis. Major league. No. I'm not going to guess. The rookie from 2002. Number ten. President Screw pits Evil Dark Helmet against Lone Star. Torment. Oh! <laughs> Go ahead. Space Balls. Yeah. From 1987. So after 10 questions, Torment leads 5 to Crisis is 3. Number 11. A sorority queen enrolls in Harvard to prove to her former boyfriend. Torment. Legally Blonde. <laughs> 2001. <laughs> you get all the faggy movies. <laughs> Number 12. In 1960s Wyoming, two cowboys begin a... Torment. Oh. Torment. Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, from 2005. 
Another faggy movie, by the way. <laughs> Number 13. A high schooler tries to fix a mistake after... Torment. His... Back to the Future. No. After his guidance counselor sends the wrong papers to Stanford University. Oh. Crisis. Good. Orange County. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Jack Black. From 2002. Number 14. After a bad day at work, a frustrated reporter meets God, who endows him... Crisis. Bruce Almighty. That's correct. From 2003. Number 15. An upstart stock car driver... Torment. Oh. There could be <laughs> several out there. Uh... Talladega Nights or Legend of Rick, Ricky Bobby? No. Uh. An upstart stock car driver goes to the edge for his manager, his brain surgeon girlfriend, and himself. Crisis, Days of Thunder? That's correct. That's After 15, Torment has 7, Crisis has 6. Number 16. Two U.S. Navy officers clash aboard a nuclear submarine... Bound for Russia. Torment. Oh, the hunt for Red October. While that country is under rebel siege. Wow, that's what I thought it was. The hunt for Red October. Crisis. U-92. <laughs> no, it's Crimson Tide. Oh, okay. Number 17. A police detective defies his superiors and gambles with innocent lives to capture a sniper terrorizing San Francisco. Torment the professional? That is not correct. No. Dirty Harry from 1971. Mm. Number 18. An engineer and a marine biologist face a mother white shark. Torment. Jaws. Oh, a mother white shark. At a Florida sea park. Crisis. Deep blue sea? No, it's, it was Jaws. It's just Jaws 3. <laughs> 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 Number 19. An assassin toys with a White House Secret Service agent haunted for 30 years by his failure in 1963 Dallas. Crisis blown away? It's not correct. I don't know. Oh, Assassin. <laughs> In the Line of Fire, oh, 1993. Number 20. An angry husband catches up to a wise guy car salesman who cons customers. Crisis! I don't know. You guys, Do you guys know who won? Yeah, Rochambeau's fight fair. One, two, three. True Lies? That's not correct. Oh, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you have more to read? Nope. Who uh, cons customers and women was the last part of it. What was his profession? I don't feel like it's fair for me to oh, repeat it. Oh, okay. sorry. I'm not going to guess. It's Cadillac Man from 1990. Oh, man, I never even heard of that movie. <laughs> I've heard of it, but i never seen oh, it, though. okay. Uh, so after 20, we still got Torment with 7, Crisis with 6. Number 21, an FBI agent pursues Frank Abagnale Jr., a con man who assumes various identities and commits forgery. Crisis, catch me if you can. Yeah. Woo. From 2002. Number 22, a therapist... A mathematician and working class roughs vie for the soul of a janitor with a genius I Torment. Good Will Hunting? Yes, from 1997. Number 23. A World War II captain and his squad risk all to locate and send home a soldier. Torment. Saving Private Ryan. That's correct, from 1998. Number 24, 
Three private detectives try to rescue a kidnapped computer pro whose voice ID software would threaten global security based on the 1970s TV series. This is a faggy one. I thought Torment was going to get it because it's a faggy one. Charlie's Angels, 2000. Oh, yeah. No, it's stupid. It's <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Uh, this is the last one for this category, for this uh, for this game. Number 25. After losing their jobs, an affluent couple... Torment. Fun with Dick and Jane? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that movie was from 2005. So Torment is winning 10 to 7. The next game that we're going to be playing is the Leonard Malton game. So if you don't know Leonard Malton, he's a movie critic. So basically what this game is, it's, it's a little bit more tricky. I'll try to explain the rules as best I can. Please ask questions because I'm going to fumble around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how many stars this Leonard Malton gave the movie, uh, a really, really vague description of the movie, and then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what year the movie was created, and then I'm going to tell you that there are X number of actors listed on, on the movie. And you two are going to bid to say, I can name it in... So, so say that there's ten actors listed on the, on the marquee. You're going to say, I can, list, I can name that movie if I hear all ten actors. And then Brad would say, I can, hear, I can name that movie if I, if I hear nine, nine actors. So once he says nine, I'm going to name the bottom nine. So that top actor is going to be list, left off the list, which is obviously the most important one. And of course, if he says, I, I can name it an eight, then you're going to lose two, two actors, and so on and so on. If by chance you actually know the movie without knowing any sort of the, any of the actors' names, you can actually bid negative numbers. So if you say, I, I can name that movie a negative one names, you would have to name the movie and the top billed actor. Does that make sense? Yes. Yep. Okay, so this one is not a buzzing game, so I'm gonna have to. We're just gonna have to go back and forth as to who who starts the bidding. And are these worth one point? They're all worth one point. I have uh, twenty of these questions. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is that if so, because it is a bidding game. So so say Brandon says I can name that movie in six actors. You're gonna say go ahead and name it. If he gets it wrong, then you get the point. Okay. And if he gets it right, of course he gets the point. Okay. So that's that's where kind of where the strategy comes in. Cool. <clears throat> so there are always there are always going to be points. There's not going to be any questions where no one gets a point. Um, because of that, there is a there's going to be a point where someone's going to be mathematically eliminated. So we'll go ahead and play until someone's mathematically eliminated or until I run out of questions. I have twenty questions. Okay. All right. So number one, the category is we shot a zoo, which means it's a movie that has hunting in them. Movie has uh, was given two stars. It was released in 1995. The critic Leonard Maltin says the movie has a sloppy assemblage of gags and a clever opening spoof of cliffhanger. There are seven names listed. Torment, because you're in the lead, I'll go ahead and let you pick first. So you can say I can name that movie in seven names or whatever you want to say. Seven names would be the easiest because you're going to get all of the actors. I could name that movie in negative one names so that puts the pressure on crisis now because if he says negative two he would have to name the top two actors go ahead ace ventura when nature calls jim carrey <laughs> nice <laughs> nicely done i didn't know who the next actor was yeah, that's what I was say. that really put the pressure new zombie jimbo or something <laughs> <laughs> number two is some guy named ian mcneese it's Probably that guy that helps him. I don't know. Uh, so the number two question, the category is 12 Years No Shave. These are movies with Santa or Jesus in them. In them. The movie was given three stars. It was released in 1973. Uh, the, the critic Leonard Malton says the movie has interesting settings and visual trappings. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, it's certainly innovative, and there is a porno star in the film, and there are six names listed. Uh, Crisis, I'll let you start this one. I could name it in six names. I could name it in two names. Go for it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> 
the bottom two uh, names listed are Larry Marshall and Bob Bingham. You're never going to get this. <laughs> uh, Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> no. Decent guess. Uh, the the movie's name is Jesus Christ Superstar. I was going to guess that if you would, would have pushed it on me. Serious? Yeah. Wow. I would never have gotten that. Okay, so Crisis gets to that point. And we're on number three. This category is called It Puts the Motion in the Casket. That is a movie containing vampire sex. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, the movie was released in 1992. It was given three and a half stars. Has kind of a peculiar, peculiar title. Uh, the movie critic Leonard Maltin said the movie was sumptuous, and there it received Academy Awards for makeup, sound effects, editing, and costume design. There are 11 names listed. We'll go back to Torment. I can name that in negative two names. <laughs> I could name that a negative three names. You guys are ballsy. Go ahead. Uh, interview with a Vampire, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, and Kirsten Dunst. That's not correct. Oh. Did you have a guess? I mean, you're, you're, you get the point. I'm just curious what you were going to say. I was going to say Interview with a Vampire, too. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, okay. There is Vampire Six. So, Torment gets that point. Number four, The Thin Red Line, that is a movie where the, the title is misspelled. Released in 1993, given three stars. Uh, as Leonard Maltin says, the movie is offbeat, effectively ironic, and well acted by its talented cast. There are six names listed. Crisis, you can start the bidding. I could name it in, with six actors. I could name it in five. I could name it in four. Go ahead. All right. You got Patricia Seal, Judson Vaughn, Michelle Forbes, and Juliette Lewis. I hate her. <laughs> I don't know. I think I know what it was. What Go was ahead. it? California? Yeah. Uh, That's right. So Torment gets his bonus. Did you say Juliet Lewis? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Julia Louise Dreyfus. You want a Q tip? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> All right. So Torment is leading 13 to Crisis is 8 right now. So there's a five point deficit with 15 questions to go. So. Number five. We're going to start with Torment on this one. The category is The Man with One Red Shoe which means it's a movie where someone is shot in the foot. It was released in 1991, given two and a half stars. It's a short and fast movie. Someone in the movie is in desperate need of a hairstylist. There is 11 names listed. Go ahead and start the bidding, Torment. I could name that in 11 names. I could name it in negative one names. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, so go ahead. Uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, Jim Carrey? No. Aww. <laughs> so Torment's going to get the point. The movie is Point Break. Hairstylist. Everyone yeah. in that in that show has perfect hair. I think he was trying to say because they're surfers, and surfers have kind of crazy uh, hair, but you, you're right. Some of the clues are better than others. Okay. Number six. The category is Shut the fuck up, Donnie! Which is a big Lebowski <laughs> reference. It's a movie where Steve Buscemi dies. There's hell of those movies. <laughs> uh, this movie was released in 1996. It's given three and a half stars. The critic gives compliments to the acting. Uh, he says that the music in the background is great and that the movie is totally disarming. There are ten names listed. I think Crisis started the last one. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. No, I, could, I think I did. I no, said I, yeah, we're even number, so yeah. Crisis will start the bidding on this one. Uh, I could name that in five names. I could name it in four. I could name it in three. Go ahead. 
All right. I don't know how these are going to help you, but uh, you got Steve Rivas, Kurt Schweikart, and Sally Wingert. Um, Reservoir Dogs. Nope. He doesn't die in that movie. Oh, he doesn't? He's like the only one who doesn't uh, die. <laughs> Did you have a guess? You're no, going to get the point. I'm Fargo? Sure. Yeah, it was Fargo. Yeah. All right. Number seven. This one is going to be started by Torment. This uh, this category is called Beat Me Up, Scotty. It's a reference to uh, the new Star Trek flicks. Where it's a movie where Simon Pegg hits someone. Uh, this movie was released in 2007. It was given three stars. Uh, the critic says that the lead character decides to do something for which he is ill-prepared. The lead actor co-wrote the movie with another famous person. And it's the feature directing debut of another famous person. Uh, there are nine names listed. Torment, go ahead and start the bidding. I can name it in five names. I can name it in negative two names. Go ahead. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, Simon Pig, Nick Frost. That, that was way earlier than 2007. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. I don't know when it was, but it, that's not correct. Oh. It's Run, Fat Boy, Run. Oh, Okay. Was it the same two actors? Uh, Top two? What was the second one? Simon Pig and Nick Frost. Uh, Nick Frost uh, isn't listed. Uh, Someone named Thandy Newton. And mm. Hank Azaria is also listed on there. A poo. <laughs> Alright, number eight. Crisis will start the bidding on this one. The category Ooh. is Breaking Bad. It's movies with white or pink or man in the title. Uh, it's released in 1999, uh, given two stars. The movie is 118 minutes long. Uh, there are people in it who appear as themselves. Uh, the lead actor perfectly embodies the subject of this movie. And there are eight names listed. Crisis, you may start the bidding. I can name it in seven. I got six. Five. Go ahead. Uh, you get five names. You got Danny DeVito. George Shapiro, Bobby Boriello, Leslie Lyles, and Brittany Colonna. No, no, no idea. <laughs> Do you have a guess? No. It's Man on the Moon. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know Danny DeVito was in it. Yeah. Uh, number nine is going to be Torment's Turn to Start. This uh, subject or topic is Put Your Hans Together. It's movies with either Alan Rickman, who plays Hans Gruber, or Harrison Ford, who plays Han Solo, of course. Uh, so this the movie basically has either Alan Rickman or Harrison Ford in it. Uh, released in 1977, three and a half stars. Elaborate and imaginative is uh, how the critic described the movie. And he also mentioned that the movie was followed by some sequels. There are eight names listed, Torment. You may start the bidding. I could do it in negative two names. Negative three. Go ahead. Star Wars, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher. Very yep. good. Nice. I knew Mark Hamill came before Han Solo. That is correct. I think I have to get the rest of these right to even tie. Where, where are we at? So we got... 17 to 9. 17 to 9. We have 10 questions left. No, you're still... Oh, okay. If you get all of them right, you would win. Okay. All right, so we're at number 10. Or actually, you have 11 questions left, not 10. Uh, the category is, Oh, Mother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> this is a movie with an orphan in them. or mo Orphan or orphans in them. Uh, it was released in 2006. Three stars from Leonard Maltin, who says that the uh, someone appears in the movie fr uh, via footage from a previous movie. And that the lead performer is appealing. There are 13 names listed, and Crisis will start the bidding. I can name it in 13. I can name it in 12. 11. 10. 9. Go ahead. <laughs> so we got 9. You got Ian Roberts, David Fabrizio. Tristan Lake Libu, Cal Penn, one, two, three, four, Marlon Brando, Eva Marie Saint, 
Sam Huntington. I believe that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Frank Langella and Parker Posey. And what year was it? 2007? 2006. <clears throat> Can I have the clue one more time? Movies with orphans in them. Mm -hmm. Someone appears in the movie via footage from a previous movie, and the lead performer is appealing. Three stars. <coughs> I'd like to hear your thought process. Well, I'm just thinking orphans. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's orphan or orphans. Just to be, just to let you know. And. I, I was I wanted to say I was thinking of French movies because of the <laughs> names <laughs> and then I heard Parker Posey that kind of sounds familiar but I don't know who that person is or if it's a man or a woman yeah the, the only person I recognize is Marlon <clears throat> Brando and I'm guessing that's from the footage before himself possibly 2006 Uh, uh, Superman Returns. Very nice. Nice. Crisis gets the point. He's in the he's in the game. Number eleven. Torment will start the the bidding on this one. The topic is arch enemies. Movies where landmarks are destroyed. From nineteen ninety eight, given two and a half stars. Um, Leonard Maltin says that the movie moves swiftly from the Pacific to New York Harbor. It's a no-brainer, and it still offers a surprising amount of fun. There are 11 names listed. Go ahead and start the bidding, Torment. I could name it in nine names. <clears throat> and there's 11? That's correct. Eight. Seven. Go for it. You did eight? Uh, seven. 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 Okay. So you get Malcolm Denaire, Doug Savant, Vicki Lewis, Arabella Field, Harry Shearer, Michael Lerner, and Kevin Dunn. Which um, year? 98? 98, that's okay. correct. I know it. And what's the category? <laughs> Movies where landmarks are destroyed. I don't remember. Is Torment the one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Independence Day? Road Trip. No, what's Road oh. Trip? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Or not uh, Rat Race. No. no nothing's oh. destroyed in Rat Race. Uh, Godzilla. Oh, okay. So Crisis will get that point. Yep. So I didn't know it. <laughs> uh, number 12. Crisis will start the bidding on this one. The category is Lawn of the Dead, movies with cemeteries in them. Uh, this movie was released in 1989, given zero stars. That's bullshit. But it was a <laughs> box office hit. Uh, he says that the, uh, <laughs> the movie's contempt for its audience was sensed by even undiscriminating moviegoers. And there are seven names listed. I can name it in seven. I can name it in six. Five. Go ahead. Uh, Blaze Birdall, Miko Hughes, Michael Lombard, Brad Greenquist. One, two, three. That's five, right? One, two. No, one more. Denise Crosby. Rick. Denise Crosby, Brad Greenquist, Michael Lombard, Miko Hughes, and Bla Blaze Birdall. I'm going to go with the only movie I know of in the 80s that <laughs> has a cemetery in it, and that's Return of the Living Dead. Nope. Aw. Oh. Do you have a guess? Pet Cemetery 2? Uh, Pet Cemetery 1. <laughs> oh. But you still get the point. So it's 18 to 11 with. Looks like. 15, seven questions to go. So you're going to have to. Start kicking ass prices. Stop going easy on them. <laughs> All 
All right, number 13. Torment will open the bidding on this one. The topic is Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. That is movies that play, take place in Seattle. From 1992, two and a half stars. Uh, the movie is about life in Seattle. And Tom Skerritt and Peter Horton have amusing cameos in the movie. There are 13 names listed. I could name it in all 13 names. 12. 11. 10. 9. Go for it. You get... who? Peter Horton... Tom Skerritt. <laughs> the two cameos. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy Piven, Eric Stoltz, Ali Walker, James LaGrosse, Bill Pullman, and Matt Dillon. And what year was this? 92. What fucking takes place in Seattle with Matt Dillon? Uh, One Night at McCool's. That's that heck of a... <laughs> Did you have a guess? Crisis? You're going to get the point. No, I didn't. Guess. Singles. Never heard of that fucking movie. <laughs> Never heard of that? Uh-uh. It's, like it's kind of like a movie that defines the grunge movie. It's kind of looked at that way. Uh, number 14. Uh, Crisis will start the bidding on this one. The topic is fantasy football or movies that have fake sports in it, like Quidditch, for example. The uh, movie was released in 2002, given one and a half stars. Uh, it was a co-USA, Germany, Japanese production. The video version is rated R, and it is laughably dumb. There are eight names listed. Crisis will start the bidding. I can name it in seven. Six. Go for it. You get Kata Dobo, <laughs> Andrew Birniarski, Oleg Taktarov, Naveen Andrews, Rebecca Romain, and LL Cool J. Basketball? Negative. Rollerball? That is correct. And you get the point anyway. LL Cool J, you always get those ones. <laughs> <laughs> When he said made up sports, I could I thought it was gonna be Rollerball one, the original or the remake, and um, <laughs> what Chris Evans is he the top one? Chris Klein. Chris Klein, yeah, and James Con would have been in the original. Number fifteen, movies where people buy a haunted house. Uh, Torment. We'll start the bidding on this one from nineteen ninety five, giving zero stars. It was a high-tech Hollywood product, followed by two direct-to-video sequels. There are 11 names listed. So go ahead and start the bidding. 11 names. 10. 9. Go for it. Damn. This is just like Laden thinks. <laughs> <laughs> so you get 9, Torment? Yeah. Mm. Good luck. Joe Alasky, Fred Rogers... Spencer Vooman, Chauncey Leopardi, Don Novello, Ben Stein, Eric Idle, Kathy Moriarty, and Malachi Pearson. Suck on that pretty boy. <laughs> and it was released in 1995? 95. People bought a haunted house, high-tech Hollywood products. Uh, followed by two direct-to-video sequels. The Cube? No, that is not correct. Did you have a guess? I don't. It's Casper. So, Crisis is still in the game. Number 16. Crisis will start the bidding on this one. Uh, <laughs> the topic is Motel Six Feet Under. It's movies where someone is killed in a motel. It was uh, released in 2005. Given two and a half stars. Uh, Leonard Malton says the movie was gripping, relentlessly violent, and available in an unrated version. There are nine names listed. Go ahead and start the bidding crisis. I can name it in eight. Seven. Go for it. Ooh, that might have been a mistake. You get seven. Priscilla Barnes, 
Jeffrey Lewis, Leslie Easterbrook, Matthew McGrory, Ken Forey, William Forsyth, and Sherry Moon Zombie. Which one was this released in? Oh, this was uh, for Motels. It's going to be Devil's Rejects. That's yeah. correct. Sherry Moon Zombie. Yeah, that's a, that's a gimme right there. <laughs> uh, 19 to 14. So there's a five-point deficit, and there's only three questions left. So I think you're out of the running. There's four questions left. Is my math correct? You have to make up five points. Yeah, five. There's, there's only four questions. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. So Torment wins. Crisis sucks. He lost. <laughs> Suck on my balls. <laughs> Want to take a break so I can get yeah, yeah. the prizes? All right, so let's get to the prizes. We got a... Uh, participation prize here <laughs> there are two, yeah there are two prizes there's shirts Ooh. but the victor gets to choose the first gets first pick oh so here we got a shirt featuring kefka and Terry. oh that's hecka tight and then we also have a shirt from final fantasy 4 featuring cecil and Golbez. Both wow. of those are hecka tight. So Torment gets first pick. Does he want Cecil and Golbez or Terra and Kefka? I think the Terra and Kefka looks really cool just because I like Kefka's colors. I think I'm going to take the Kefka one. Yeah, I would too. Even though I like Final Fantasy IV better, that one just looked really cool. That's hecka tight. I like, um, that's weird how he's holding a spear. Yeah, I thought that was kind of awkward too, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I, did, I didn't do the art. Yeah. <laughs> That's hecka tight. And the punishment for Brandon... What? There's punishment? Is that he has to watch us eat this ice cream during the Royal Rumble match. It's my favorite ice cream in the world. It's the Pendulet designed ice cream from the Celebrity Apprentice. Oh, man. The vanilla and chocolate magic swirdle. Yes. <laughs> you get none of, that, none of this. You have to watch us eat it. All right, I'll accept my punishment. <laughs> So that'll do it for uh, episode 40, the uh, movie trivia episode. This is Nick. This is Brad. Brandon. Happy hunting.